Jeff Ranieri and I talking about the weekend. It is Friday is evening. Take it away, Jeff. Oh, and it does feel good, right? Uh, just outside my work from home windows here, the uh, sky is about as blue as my shirt. And you know it too, because you're probably spending a lot of time outdoors today. It was so amazing. So we'll bring it to our high definition sky camera network here out towards the East Bay, looking at Mount Diablo and not a cloud in the sky. Currently checking in with 62 degrees, a little bit of a breeze out of the west at 12 miles per hour. The dew point at 39, so we have some very dry air in place. We'll drop down to the 50s over the next couple of hours and eventually some 40s here once we hit 11 p.m. Tomorrow morning, no big problems. It'll be a little bit breezy down there for the lower elevations, but all in all, a chilly start where you need a jacket if you're up at 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning, 40 right there in the Tri-Valley. Over the East Bay, San Francisco and the North Bay, I have you also checking in in the 40s with 42 for the East Bay, San Francisco 48 and the North Bay at 40. But the big change we're going to undergo tomorrow, I want to make sure you see, is we do have some more mountain wind returning. This is the same exact setup we had earlier this week. So with this storm, we're going to get some snow across the interior mountains of the west, but we're going to be on the dry and the windy side of this. So it's going to pick up the wind, but again, it's primarily focused on the mountains. You can see at 8 o'clock in the morning, we're only 5 to about 15 miles per hour for that wind, uh, but watch the colors as this expands to more of an orange and red color through the mountains. You can see at the key at the top of the screen, that's wind gusts of 30 to about 45 miles per hour. I think gradually by Saturday evening, we'll start to see some of that wind subside and definitely seeing this wind kick out of here as we head through Sunday. Uh, so the real big problem with this is going to be your allergies, elm, cedar, pine, ash, also wild plums, all in the high category. So uh, definitely pay attention to that. I think our fire danger, we're okay on that because we have had some rainfall over the past eight weeks. While it hasn't been tremendous, uh, the vegetation definitely has some moisture in it. Daytime highs tomorrow looking pretty good here 65 in Livermore 64 in San Jose right up to the North Bay have you at 66 in Napa and you'll find some 50s right there through the coastline at Half Moon Bay 57 on my extended forecast we are dry all the way through Thursday then there is the chance of some showers trying to sneak in by next Friday only a 55 percent possibility right now so it's not the big chances we need but certainly it is a sign we could see some wetter weather return uh, even for this upcoming not this weekend but the weekend after that. So all in all, plenty of 60s for those highs, upper 30s to low 40s uh, for our temperatures. I think the best day to be outside, certainly supporting your local restaurants, is going to be on Sunday over the East Bay. Look at this. We've got 64 by 1 p.m., 65 by 4 p.m., lots of sunshine. So Raj, um, I definitely know Jessica and I are ready for some brunch. How about if we pick the place and you pick up the tab? What do you think about that? <laughs> oh, totally. Money bags is picking <laughs> up the if tab for sure. If it means to see you guys in person, I would happily do that. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.